And we have the latest now on John McAfee, back in the U.S. now after more than a month on the run in Central America. The software pioneer is still wanted for questioning the murder of an American citizen in Belize, but he's free for now. And ABC's Matt Gutman talked to him when McAfee landed in Miami. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, George. We found John McAfee withered from that five week long odyssey. The millionaire was still wearing that battered suit he's been wearing for over a week. But this morning is the first time in well over a month that he's not waking up in a Central American jungle or in a lockup for Central American migrants. No choice. They put me on an airplane. I am here. Overnight, John McAfee's month long international run from police in Central America ended with a flight to Miami. As dozens of media waited, federal authorities spirited the 67-year-old off a plane and into this van. Then he hopped into a cab to this Miami Beach hotel where he sat down exclusively with ABC News. I got a pair of clothes and shoes. All of my assets, all of my money is in Belizean banks. But this morning, the self-made millionaire says he's broke. Just hours earlier, amid a media frenzy, Guatemalan police forced him aboard a U.S.-bound flight. I'm going to America. Can I Miami. And in the dead of night, a stranger delivered this stack Brand of cash. Really nice. In fact, I thought it has to be counterfeit. McAfee left behind his entire fortune, including this beachfront compound, after the November 10th murder of his neighbor, Greg Fall, in Belize. Police there have said he isn't a suspect, but when they asked to question him, he disguised himself and fled. How many people at the checkpoint? Eventually turning up in Guatemala on December 3rd. There, just a day later, he was detained for entering illegally. Suddenly, he fell ill. How are you, Mr. McAfee? Leading to this surreal scene with reporters chasing him in his ambulance and right into the emergency room. He now says it was all a ruse. What about your illness? What about my illness? Was that part of the deception? Of course. It kept me from going back to Belize. Now back in the U.S. this morning, he's answering critics who said it was all a publicity stunt. What's a better story? Millionaire madman on the run. But you saved my Why? Because you paid attention to the story. Because you acted like a madman. I did, and it worked. Now McAfee says he doesn't know where he'll go or how he'll support himself. In the immediate future, he says his goal is to bring his two girlfriends from Guatemala to the United States. They are 20 years old and 17 years old. Amy. Wow. Okay. Matt Gutman, thanks so much. For more now, let's bring in GMA legal analyst Dan Abrams. And Dan, we know McAfee's back in the U.S. legally. Is that the best place for him? Well, look, this is a win uh, for McAfee. You had the authorities in Belize who wanted him sent there. They'd been looking for him uh, for weeks. He ends up in Guatemala, uh, and the Guatemalan courts say you have to be sent back to the U.S. So as long as there are no outstanding beefs that the U.S. Right. has with him, this is an, an absolute win for him. The U.S. does have an extradition treaty with Belize, but McAfee is not being called a suspect in this case. Does it change anything that the alleged victim is also a U.S. citizen? It means that the U.S. is going to be more interested in ensuring whatever outcome it is that they want, but that's unclear. What is the outcome? Right. As you point out, not only has he not been charged, he's not being even named a suspect. So at this point, there is a guy in the U.S. who Belize would like to talk to. Um, that's it. That's not an enormous uh, legal hurdle. Obstacles to getting his two girlfriends a visa back into the United States? I mean, he seems look, concerned about that. Yeah, I, I'm sure he is concerned about it. I can't believe that the U.S. is going to look particularly favorably upon that, but let's just say that uh, they will probably get exactly the same treatment that anyone else uh, in that country would get. But wow, one heck of a story.